A YouTuber named Xander H takes a group of friends to an asylum that was abandoned long ago. They come across wall after wall of graffiti and begin to wonder if people could still be living in here after all. What does they, they see? see you. That's like some anonymous Dude, it goes upstairs. Let's go up here. Go. There's not much to find on the first floor besides lots of written warnings and an overall bad feeling, so they decide to head upstairs. They don't even make it halfway before this happens to them. Something large and heavy stomps down the steps and sends the small group screaming for their lives. They don't get it on tape, but I still think this video is probably real because each member of the group is clearly on camera when they hear the running footsteps. I think there is a good chance this video is real and that they were chased out, maybe even by something supernatural. This strange sighting looks like an oversized bird of prey from far away. Make no mistake, this is no bird. Moments ago, this creature with long wings was sighted scaling the dome of a cathedral in Mexico. The demon-like creature looks over its shoulder and sees it's been caught on camera, but it doesn't much care. It flies up to the top and extends its wings before taking off. This video has gone viral in the Spanish-speaking community, so I figured I would give my analysis. Some people are saying that this is a bat, while others are saying this is a demon sighting given its location with the cathedral. But I wanted to clear up the confusion and say this is from a CGI artist named Fernando Loga. Now, if you see this anywhere else on the web since it's spreading like crazy, now you know what actually happened here. When you're an urban explorer planning to explore an abandoned building, be prepared to find it occupied. All Around Lifestyle published this video in December of 2015. Mike wrote, Me and a mate went exploring in a grain elevator, which is located in Poland in a city called Warclaw. The footage was captured on a GoPro Silver 3 edition. After exploring the cellar and several other floors, they explore the grounds. There are several other small buildings in the area, and as they approach one of them, they hear voices. This building is as dilapidated as the rest of them. Rubble on the ground. But in the far room, the guys distinctly hear several voices. Mike enters the small building, and when the people in question appear in the far doorway, he asks in Polish if he can record there. One man says yes, but another says no and tells him to leave now. Mike explains afterwards that he believes the people in the abandoned buildings were living there. Don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to run into anyone in this remote place. A ghost has no use for a haircut, but apparently that doesn't stop one from haunting a famous barber shop called GQ Cuts in La Puente, California. Caught on security cam is a ghostly guest slipping under a blue gown. Everyone, even the woman getting her hair cut, is nervously looking at the chair, waiting for it to move again, which it doesn't. But hold on, nobody sees the scariest moment of all on the shelf above them. A creepy mannequin head turns towards him while he tries to tell everyone what he saw. Thankfully, the moving objects were caught on tape to prove him right. Then again, it could be this fan on full speed that's blowing objects around. A fire erupted at St. Anthony School in Octonal Falls, Wisconsin on February 21st, 2012, damaging the interior beyond recognition. At the time, the school had 42 students. Portions of the exterior of the 55-year-old school were visibly damaged, while a layer of soot and ash coated the attached St. Anthony Church. 
father, Joel Sember, said that the parish was taking the fire very personally. In his words, this is part of their family, it's part of their community, and so they are taking this as if it happened to their home. While the fire was certainly devastating, the school was empty at the time, so at least no one was harmed. Father Sember noted that the fire could have been far more destructive had the fire department not been so efficient. The fire is believed to have been intentional, although it's unclear if they ever found the culprit. This creepy farmhouse will have you swearing off abandoned buildings for life. Published by Da Dio's Urban Exploration in April of 2013, the uploader admits to being skeptical to the paranormal, but this incident made him consider opening up to the possibility. Da writes that the house sits about a half a kilometer from a road in Bob Cage, Ontario. The house is isolated with just a barn and an outcrop of other buildings. It appears from a distance to be tightly boarded up, but a back door was wide open. He writes, now it is very possible. All the environmental conditions were perfect for this experience. However, wingman Jan happened to be with me on this explore, and we are in agreement. There was something more to this. He says the video doesn't really do the reality justice. The sounds were much more magnified, which he describes as like freight trains. He writes, there was the sound of someone else walking. There was the sound of something heavy being dragged across the floor, and when exiting, it was like being followed out to the threshold of inside and out. Without further ado, let's take a look at the cryptic video. Even the approach to the house's exterior is a bit unnerving. The back door is under an overhanging, which our friends sneak beneath to catch a glimpse of a bunch of knickknacks and garbage littering the ground, including an old sewing machine. The back door is wide open, it's dark inside. They climb the steps to the kitchen area, also disheveled and covered with odds and ends. Once inside, they're stepping over the trash and other items on the floor while scanning the rooms with a flashlight. They enter the living room. Something on a door across the room flies up. It appears to be blown by a breeze. The door then opens and slams shut while our brave Da backs away. Instead of racing out of there, they get closer. The door keeps creaking open and slamming shut again. He finally enters the empty hallway. No one is there. He shines the flashlight upstairs, and just when you think he's going to explore that second level, he hurries the heck out of that house. Probably a smart idea. The house alone is unsettling. I can't imagine what being there in person must have felt like. Although Da knows some might call him a coward for being afraid, he insists that you had to be there to know what it truly felt like. On the contrary, most people believe in the comments of this video that Da was brave to stay in this obviously haunted house as long as he did. I'm one of them. A small crowd gathers to watch a commercial airliner take off. But what should be a fun little diversion turns into a scary moment, and it's all caught on camera. A person is getting in some exercise when they become engulfed in a sudden sandstorm created by high-powered turbine engines. He's directly in the jetliner's path and there's nowhere for him to go but down a steep slope into the water and you can see others are also stuck in its path. This is probably exactly why there aren't more beaches this close to an airport. I know this is kind of humorous, but it stops being funny if you get a piece of sand embedded in your eye. Or worse, which thankfully did not happen here. Mysterious things have been happening for years at the haunted Brookside Theatre in Romford, UK. Management has long reported sightings of ghost orbs and furniture moving by itself across the floor with no one in the room. Footage of one such strange and unexplained event was captured on a quiet Sunday morning in 2014. Management came in to find the chairs were no longer in the same place as they had been the night before. 
They checked CCTV tapes already knowing the answer, but for some reason, even after all these years, there's no getting used to paranormal activity and so they check every time. A paranormal presence is shown on camera moving the chair and then the table. Half the table is off the camera, so that would be easy to move by yourself and say it was a ghost, but a chair moving by itself would be harder to fake, though it could be a string. I'll keep digging for more paranormal videos from the Brookside Theater so we can help solve the mystery and figure out if the building is really haunted. In the meantime, let me know what you think of these creepy moments caught on camera. A man from an unknown country is checking an old apartment when he is confronted by the spirit of its former inhabitants. First, something whispers behind him in another language, possibly Arabic, followed by movement. Then they slam the door he just walked through and raise the lock in midair, something that a person would not be able to do just from banging really hard on the other side. Orbs are going crazy, although it is pretty dusty in here. Anyway, pay attention to this side of the room. No one is here, yet in moments a paw flies from this direction and when he turns around you can see the room is completely empty. <laughs> Phantom figures crouch low behind doorways and promptly disappear and when he hears these running footsteps overhead, he knows it's time to leave fast. They sound heavy and are heading straight his way. <laughs> These visitors are boarding the Space Mountain ride when apparently something decides to go with them. Watch it approach from the left side of the screen and let me know if you see it or not. A transparent beam of light appears to move into the roller coaster and then suddenly vanishes. Some people have claimed that this is a famous ghost called Mr. One Way. According to legend, this ghost will sit next to you on a ride and have a conversation for a while before disappearing. This looks like it could just be a glitch in some grainy VHS tape to me, but some people claim that this is indisputable proof of Mr. One Way in action. Even if this video is a malfunction and not paranormal, I guess the legend could still be true. A famous actress in Indonesia named Leah Wade went viral when she caught these scary moments on her Instagram story. She and her colleagues are all together when Leah sees something that's beyond creepy. <laughs> Looming over them is a strange shadow figure, an apparition they've never seen. It looks good at first, but here's why I have some doubts about the supposedly real ghost sighting video. The way the apparition is perched perfectly above them makes me think they were generating hype for a movie. The fact that she's an actress makes viral marketing all the more viable of an explanation. They are acting pretty scared and the video is creepy, but keep in mind that they are professionals who get paid to act scared, so doing something like this probably wouldn't be too hard. Even though I'm on the fence with this one, it's still chilling to think about. And as far as a viral video goes, I guess it works well because it certainly got my attention. Do you think it's real or fake? Who's hiding behind this mirror? This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes, we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. This ghost is hungry. Published by Pilot Error Podcast in December of 2020. This woman was finally able to capture on camera what had apparently been happening for a while. After hearing a noise in the kitchen, she grabs her camera and waits. That's when she sees this. 
The cupboard is opening just a little bit at first, then it opens a little wider, and then, instead of running away from the spirit, this woman runs toward it. All open. And once in the kitchen, things get worse. Is this poltergeist just inviting everyone to dinner? And will you attend? Should be an interesting enough meal. <laughs> what if that figure you sometimes see out of the corner of your eye is really there? Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Malachi James. The clip shows the pregnant woman's blanketed belly, and in the background a crying kitten. Across the screen are the words, My heart is actually breaking. But it's at the very end of the clip that your heart doesn't break but starts beating rapidly. Redditor Quality Spooky Me sums up, I didn't notice the head popping up at the end of the video the first time I watched this. What the heck is that? The Redditor says her sister didn't even notice the shadow creeping up until she watched the clip back. The Redditor says that her sister is fine, nothing bad happened to her, and no further weirdness occurred in her last week at this house. She did mention, however, that she felt heaviness there, like someone or something was stalking her. Another Redditor, Link Nadeserico, also points out the glowing pinpricks in the darkened doorway at the beginning of the clip, like eyes in the darkness. Will some call fake on this video due to the abrupt ending? As many note, this was a Snapchat which may be the reason for the seemingly premature cut. Others think it's a ghost of the former pet, which the Redditor has noted was the cat with black fur. Sounds suspiciously superstitious. With a Ouija board in hand, a YouTuber named Contagious Noise takes her girlfriend and her sister to an old barn that's just beyond city limits. They are positive that this barn is very haunted and therefore the perfect place to contact the other side. The group laughs and carries on playfully at first, but it isn't long before the situation grows alarmingly serious. Tell me if it really looks like the pointer is moving all by itself here. I'm my grandma, I'm not doing it. Garrett? I swear on everything. I'm not. Look at my fingers. Are. Soon they contact the spirit of a four-year-old who could possibly be named Ryan. They are trying to ask him more questions when out of nowhere it spells out the name Grace, which is the name of one of the girls. The spirit doesn't seem to want to give any real answers. Sometimes the Ouija board simply spells letters at random. Just when they get the feeling that a spirit is messing with them, a random noise confirms their suspicions. Or ask who the four-year-old was. Why they're here? Did you hear that? Yeah. Each one of them promises that they are not playing a joke and they decide to try again. This time the Ouija board spells out a single word. Help. Say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> A man is driving down a haunted road in Hawaii when he sees a pale beige orb on the left side of his camera. No idea what's, what that is on my screen. It looks like a ball of light on the left. I thought it was just his finger until I realized it was semi-transparent and slightly changing shape. I don't know what oh that my, is. Oh my, I what is don't that? know what that is. I have no clue. There's nothing there. Watch this part and you'll see there's no way that this is his thumb. His passenger points at something on the side of the right, and their hand actually appears in front of the orb. The weird circle continues to hover in the corner for a full three minutes. It does not fade or go away even when they pull over, turn off the lights, and step out of the car into darkness. It's still there. It's moving. It's still on the, the left. And I don't know what that If you have any idea how an orb could stay so plainly visible even without a light source, then let me know because I am honestly stumped. When UPS shows up at your door and you haven't ordered anything, be wary. Published to YouTube in May of 2020 by Neosum. This ring doorbell footage from a London home shows a man, dressed in a UPS coat and holding a package, ring the homeowner's doorbell. As he's waiting, he appears preoccupied on the phone. 
The homeowner answers and that's when things go off the rails. A moment later, the man barges in and three others come in after him. News reports from May of 2020 clarify that the suspects barged in, demanding a security box from the father. Two men were charged in the matter. All the more reason not to open the door to anyone. A YouTuber named Tanner Shelton is trying to clear his mind by making a TikTok video at the mall when he accidentally records a phantom figure that disappears after a brief but horrifying moment. Hey guys, so I decided to just get out of the house today. I think it's probably good for me to keep my mind off of things. And just she has long black hair over her eyes and a white outfit, and the way she is rooted in place hardly looks like an ordinary shopper going about their day. He admittedly does give her ample time to go back around the corner, so this could have been planned. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.